Now, what are the measures of central tendency? We have three. We have the mean, median, and mode. So, those are the measures of central tendency. Now, what is a central tendency or a measure of central tendency? A measure of central tendency is a single value that attempts to describe a set of data by identifying the central position within that set of data. That's why we have the mean, median, and mode. And again, in this topic, we will be discussing how to compute the mean, median, and mode of an ungrouped data. Now let's have an example. How can we compute the mean, median, and mode of a given ungrouped data? Now for example, we have the grades of Jenny in 9 subjects are 78, 88, 89, 90, 92, 93, 97, 98, and 98. Now what are the mean, median, and mode of the given data? Let's start with the mean. Again, to find the mean or x bar, we just have to get the summation of x over n. Again, the summation of x means we just have to add up all the value in our given set of data. So we have x bar is equal to 78 plus 88 plus 89 plus 90 plus 92 plus 93 plus 97 plus 98 plus 98 all over n is equal to 9 since we have 9 subjects or 9 values so we have divided by 9 now the summation of x is equal to 823 again that is the sum of all the values divided by 9 so x bar or the mean is equal to 91.44 again that is from 823 divided by 9. So, the mean of the grades of Jenny is 91.44. That is how you compute the mean. Next, let's compute the median. Again, our first step to compute the median of ungrouped data is to first arrange our values from lowest to highest. Now, as you can see in our given set of data, they are already arranged from lowest to highest. So, we have from 78 up to 98. And as you can see, we have an odd number of data since we have 9, set or nine values in our set of data. That is an odd number. So if you're going to look at our given set of data, we can easily locate our middle value, which is 92. Therefore, the median of this given set of data, or MD, is equal to 92. That is the median of our given set of data. Finally, we have the mode. Now again, the mode is the most frequent value in our given observation. So again, let's go back to our given set of data. What do you think is the most frequent value in our given set of data? Correct, we have 98. Since we have 298 in our given set of data, that is our mode. So, MO is equal to 98. Now, since 98 or we have 298 and the rest of our values, we just have a single value for each of them. Our MO is equal to 98, so we only have one mode. Therefore, this set of data is considered as unimodal since we only have one mode. So that is how you get the mode or find the mode of a given set of data. So that's all for the measures of central tendency of ungrouped data.
Thank you for watching.